You want to go to PetSmart? Hey guys, so today I'm here with Steve for a little special video. It is Sunday, so I don't normally post today, but the other day was actually Steve's adoptiversary. So I thought I would just do a little quick video today um, about Steve. I think I'm going to take him to PetSmart. So I thought I would bring you guys along. I actually got Steve on July 5th of 2013. So I've had him for four years now. Um, it's been really, really great. Of course, July 5th was during the week. So unfortunately we couldn't celebrate, but since it's the weekend, I'm gonna take him to PetSmart to celebrate a little bit. Ellie is going to be staying home just because when you get these two together in a pet store, they are a little rambunctious and since I'm going to be trying to film, I don't want to have to worry about both of them. So today's just going to be a special little day with me and Steve and you guys, of course. Before we go, I actually do need to get him in a harness. I do have a new harness, which I'm going to tell you guys about today. I got this harness from Chewy.com. I'm sure a lot of you know I've worked with Chewy a ton in the past because I think they're a great company and I only review stuff from them that I actually really, really like and I think you guys will too. So hopefully this is going to be a good harness. Like I said, Steve is a little rambunctious in the store and one of the good things about this harness is it has a clip on the chest which is supposed to stop pulling a little bit so hopefully that helps. This harness is also crash tested. Now I've seen some videos about crash testing and I don't know how really good that is but I always use harnesses in the car anyway. I mainly use them not in case I get into a wreck but just for safety in general. If I did not have Steve in a harness in the car he would be in my lap and he would probably make me wreck. So I just like having them restrained just for normal everyday driving. If I do get in a wreck you know I'm not going to 100% depend on this but I think harnesses are just a really good idea anyway just to keep your dog out of your lap and you less distracted. So this harness is actually by the brand Kurgo and this is the True Fit Smart Harness. It says Enhanced Strengths. It's a auto harness and a walking harness so we'll be trying both of those out today on our way to PetSmart. It does include the seatbelt tether and everything. If you're interested in this it does come in all different sizes. I will put a link below. So let's go ahead and put this on and then we will jump in the car and go to PetSmart. So I just got the harness on him. As you can tell, he knows something is up now and is very excited. So here is the little tether piece. Overall, the harness, come here. It does fit really, really well. So I will just tether in him in right here. The one thing I don't like so far is one of these top pieces is twisted. And by the looks of it, I don't think I can actually untwist it. I just think it was made a little bit wrong. So it doesn't lay completely flat, but it does fit really nice. And it does have the metal buckles, which I really like. So now it is time to check the seatbelt portion and put him in the car. You ready to go? Let's go. Okay, so Steve and I just got to PetSmart. Ellie is at home chewing on a dental bone all happy. So this is what the harness looks like in the car. I hooked the carabiner right to the seatbelt, which is the way they recommended it. You can also use this strap and then you put it through this strap. You actually don't put it in this little leash thing. You put it through the strap, but it did its job in the car. It held him in his seat and out of my lap. So now it is time to try this little front one. This is where I hooked his leash. Hopefully this will stop him from pulling because usually when we get to PetSmart, he thinks he is a sled dog and goes crazy. So it did its job in the car. So let's see if it does its job in the store and let's go let Steve pick out a present. Hey Steve, you want one of these? All these toys are on clearance for two dollars. I think I like this one. Hey Steve, you want this? Hey 
Do you need a bone? What do you want? So we're just leaving PetSmart. Steve had a great time like always. He is really hot now though. The harness did do a good job. He actually didn't pull near as much as normal. It did get stuck under his front leg a couple times just because he's not used to it yet. But I definitely did see an improvement with the pulling so I'll definitely be using this more often and trying it out. I did end up putting that fox toy back because I found another cute one up by the register that I think was only three dollars. So I will show you what we got when we get home. So Steve and I just got home from PetSmart. He is happy to be home. He's rubbing himself weirdly on the couch. Ellie's excited that we are home also. I just thought I would show you real quick before I go what we got. He wants to take his harness off. He is rubbing it. Once again, I do want to say thank you to Chewy.com for sending out the harness. If you're interested, um, the link is in the description. I'm not getting paid or anything to review this. They did send the harness for free, but they're not paying me or anything. But I do think it's a really good harness and I do really love the website. Um, so let me show you what Steve got for his adoptiversary. Like I said, I did end up returning or taking that um, little fox toy back because they had this at the checkout. This is a little blue elephant and look how crazy that nose is. So Steve really, really wants this. Let me take the tags off of it and we will just go ahead and give it to him. Ready? So he is going to be playing with that all night, I'm sure. And then I did get them. Of course, I got one for Ellie too. I got them these little bark where these bones. These are what he really wants. They absolutely love these, um, but it is about time for both of them to eat dinner. So Ellie and Steve will be enjoying their new bones tonight after they eat dinner. But that is it for Steve's special, a little adoptiversary video. Like I said, I've had him four years now. So he's about four and a half years old and he is just a wonderful little dog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't, maybe better luck next time. Um, this isn't taking the place of a normal Tuesday or Friday video. So it is kind of just a little bonus video. But if you did enjoy it, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up to wish Steve a happy gotcha day. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss my upcoming videos and I'll see you guys next time.